Good morning, cultists. Welcome to a brand new breakfast with Cthulhu's. It's that special time again, folks. Time to start a new campaign. This campaign was voted for by my Patreon supporters and channel members, and it's one that I've been looking forward to for a while as it's not my usual fare. What am I talking about? Brace yourselves. We're going Catholic. I know. Crazy, right? For those of you who are new to the channel, you may be wondering what the big deal is. Here's the thing. I almost never play Catholic. It has just never interested me at all. Out of my many CK2 campaigns, I've only played Catholic maybe twice? But I hear there are new mechanics and achievements for Catholics with the release of Holy Fury, so I think it's time we give them another shot. Now the question is, out of the many, many Catholic rulers, who do we choose? You may have guessed from the title of the series that it has something to do with women. It's true. The goal of this campaign is to play as a dynasty of female Catholic rulers. So naturally, the best choice would be someone who is Cathar or Basque. Now, I don't know if there are any Cathar rulers to choose from in the 769 start, so we'll go with Basque. I could go with the Count of Vizcaya, who is one of the few rulers who starts Basque, but Asturias is a very, very dangerous place due to the presence of the Umayyads to the south. So I think the safer choice is actually someone on the southern edge of France, which leaves us with a few choices. One option is Duke Lope de Vasconia, who is Basque, or here's what I prefer. We start as Count Lu Luping of Dax, who is decidedly not Basque. However, he's sitting on top of land that is Basque, so we can convert to the local culture once we have enough prestige. I prefer Luping because I like starting out as a lowly count and building my way up, and his family coat of arms is pretty cool. Lastly, his facial hair is glorious, especially in comparison to Lope, who just has a shitty chin strap. I mean, what is that? Good grief. In any case, the goal of the campaign is for me to try out the new crusade mechanics and to try to get the following achievements. Impressive, Black Widow, Deus Vault, Prester John, maybe Venetian Guile, and finally, Holy and Roman, which is why we need to start in the 769 bookmark. Alright, so let's do this. We are going to go with the previous rules from the previous campaign, but with a few changes. So I'll just go through the entire list here. Aztec Invasion, 13th century. Major epidemics delayed to dynamic. Shattered retreats and defensive packs, as well as army movement lock off. AI seduction and AI intrigue off. Um, Exclave independence is harsh as opposed to significant this time. Families generated only for the AI except for historical characters. Dynamic de jure drift is restricted, as opposed to off. De jure requirement required. Supernatural and absurd events unrestricted. Secret religious cults, none. This could somewhat backfire though, because if we get swallowed up by the Umayyads, it helps to have a secret cult going to undermine the authority of the Umayyad, um, you know, leader. But... I don't know, they could also get pretty annoying, so I'm just gonna go with off. Provincial revolts are rare. Uh, Mongol invasion is historical. Minor epidemics fewer, because I'm still traumatized from my previous campaign where we were just constantly beset by various diseases. That, and I feel like they don't really add too much of a challenge. It's kind of annoying at times because you have to shut the gates and you can't really do anything. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this really works out or not. And lastly, pregnancy flavor off, because I'll be damned if I get another stupid event asking me if I want to eat a hare's head or an entire disco club or something and end up getting my children hair lip or um, club footed or something. It's just so stupid. And it also turns off the Regency stuff for pregnancy. And because we're planning on playing as female characters for the most part, I feel like this will kind of cut down on a lot of the um, idiocy and all that stuff. And Iron Man mode obviously on. Okay, Iron Man Dex? No, no, no. Iron Woman? Queens. Alright, let's do this, folks. Fantastic. Alright, well, as this is the first episode of the series, it's going to be an hour long. Which is, you know, double the usual fare. But, uh, anyways. <laughs> Alright. So we are, I think the pronunciation of this is Occitan? 
I could be wrong, but I don't know if it's actually... I don't know. You know what? It's fine. The important thing is that we are currently not Basque, so we'll have to convert to the local culture, which will give us five... or which will require 500 prestige. We could also convert to my lieges culture, but that doesn't convert the culture of my children, so... probably better to go with the um, more expensive option. So we're feudal, and we are Catholic. Which is uh, going to take some getting used to, I think. Yeah, it's weird seeing the UI in this kind of color scheme. But anyways, so this is our capital in Dax, and we are... Not the greatest character I've ever started with. But at least our martial score isn't terrible. Flamboyant Schemer, not amazing, but we are lustful, greedy, erudite, and just, which is... Interesting. Not bad, actually. And our heir is Alderic Looping. We have a daughter who was married to my cousin. Died a natural death, and he seems to be a historical character. Interesting. Alright. And she has a son. Okay, well, as long as they're all of the right uh, culture. And we have another son, Sancho, who does not have an education focus. Alright, I guess go with the martial stuff. Man, your base um, stats are garbage. And he seems to be another historical character. Interesting. So, you are the you were the Duke of Aquitaine. And now that's ruled by my uncle. Uncle, wow, look at your stats, dude. Can I get an alliance with you? Hell yeah. Fantastic. Oh, also, I realized that I could have started out as this guy. Who looks like a Spanish Jon Snow without his um, helmet. But, I don't know. I mean, I feel like starting out as a count with three counties as opposed to the one just kind of cuts down on a lot of the awaiting time. Because otherwise, we're just going to have to wait for claims to be fabricated, etc, etc. And I'd rather not just, you know, sit here on my laurels and um, do nothing. So, ambition-wise, I guess we can try to become a counselor. Uh, I don't know what we would be a counselor for, though. Or should we try to get a title? No, let's, um, sure. Or should we not? No, you know what? Let's do it. We've got to start with something, right? And our focus will be, should we go with Marshall? Because they do plan on attacking this guy. He seems relatively weak, though, so maybe we don't need to worry about that too much. So then what's the other option? Maybe we should go with carousing. Yeah, I mean, our diplomacy is just hot garbage. And this way, we can uh, make some friends and such. Yeah, let's do it up. So we have a half-brother, who's also in Dax. He's my commander. And this guy's the other dude. Icterius. Gotcha. Laws-wise... Um... Oh no, we're gavel kind. Alright, so I think... Maybe next generation, we'll go with Absolute Cognetic once we switch over to Basque. But perhaps for now, we should go with Elective Monarchy. So that we don't have Gavelkind nonsense and Realm Fracturing and all that crap. And this belongs to him. Okay, so... These guys aren't my biggest fans right now. What if I give you an honorary title? Negative 3, so we need to... Switch that up. I guess be the... High Almoner? Whatever that is, and this guy also needs to be ingratiated somewhat. Uh, how about we give you Master of the Horse? So you're going to be making love to, um, what's it? Glitterhoof non-stop. Fantastic. Uh, so if I do this, I should be able to switch back to Ultimate Genitor in the future, yeah? Yeah, as long as I haven't been forced to have elective succession. Yes. Alright, let's do it up. Fantastic. Oh! Oh, really? We can actually just nominate Adela right now. Really? What if I make my uncle my Lee or my heir, and then I just die? Hmm, that could be interesting. But no, I guess we'll have my daughter be my heir for the time being. And let's also change this. Fantastic. And we are currently not married, which is of course a big no-no. So who's my op- Ooh, what are my options here? The Princess of Lombardy? Really? Wow, okay. Geburga. 
or Dofreda. Let's go with Geberga. She's got better um, stats overall, and she's also lustful and brave. Fantastic. Let's do it up. Sweet. And daughter, we should probably... Really? We can get an alliance with the King of Asturias. Well, I mean, if we're planning on making her my heir, then we should do a matrilineal marriage. Can I? Oh, that could be interesting. Hmm. What other options do I have, though? Let me see if there's something else. <gasps> the Prince of Bavaria. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Sure, let's do it up. Wait. We would only get a non-aggression pact with... Really? That's it? I thought he was... Is he not someone important? Carl, Prince of Bavaria. Wait. Huh. So, he's in this guy's court. Is that right? Or... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I see. What, was he expelled or something? Interesting. Maybe he can press his claim or something. Alright, well, let's try that. Uh, let's get a matrilineal marriage with Carl, the Prince of Bavaria, as opposed to my uh, half-brother. Fantastic. And what else do we need to get done here? We should probably get this guy married off, too. Um, to whom, though? Uh, we can get some non-aggression packs here. This is going to be interesting, um, trying to go for non-aggression packs with the various people. Wait. Maybe we should get a non-aggression pact with Burgundy. Or should we go with the Doge of Amalfi? Um... I feel like maybe we should do it with this guy then. Yeah. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> oh no, that's my grandson. I was talking about this guy. Um... Hmm... Not sure, actually. Maybe we go with Daphne. And then we can get a non-aggression pack with... Ah... Uh, I don't know. Oh, a strong lady. Hmm... We could try that. Maybe. I mean, we don't get a lot of prestige from it, though. So... Never mind. Maybe we'll just wait for our better options, then. Yeah, yeah. Because they're not really speaking to me, I gotta say. Except for this lady. But no, we should go with our grandson then, right? Yeah, yeah. At least we'll get the non-aggression pact with uh, Burgundy then. Unless we should go with... Her son? Wait, why are you in this guy's, um, thing? What the hell? Hey, where are you? You're in Dax. And where are you? You're also in Dax. So it's only my daughter's son. That's in this guy's thing. And he does have a strong claim on the Duchy of Aquitaine. I see. Can I assign myself to be the... Foreign power? You're insane, sir. I could get him killed. Hmm. Alright, well, you know what? Let's try inviting him to carousing. And this guy does not like me at all. Let's also invite uh, our uncle to carousing and the king to carousing. Sweet. Alright. And we should wait for the uh, marriages to come in, yeah? Oh, let's get the uh, court physician. You have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quacksalver. Oh, well, here's open. Uh, and we cannot interact with China, can we? Nope, we cannot. Alright, so, counselors. Um, let's have you... I don't really know what to do with you right now, so I'm just gonna leave you as is. Might need to do some schmoozing with our top liege. Um, steward, collect taxes and dax. Spymaster, go spying in Constantinople. Court chaplain, go suck uh, up to the Pope. Yes, that's what I meant. And I can't interact with him 
in any way whatsoever yet, because we don't have enough piety. Alright, cool. Sure. Now I'll finally let the uh, time pass. And he's institu instituted title revocation law. Gotcha. Uh, doesn't... Oh, wait, 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 what just happened? Alright, so... Yes, we'll go for the... Gold? Yeah, I mean, 13 prestige isn't, like, too crazy, so... Fantastic. And, oh, he's actually, uh, accepted my invitation. <laughs> That's hilarious. Am I married yet? Are you considering my, uh, my proposal? He is. Great. Just don't give her away just yet, alright? Please. I called dibs, alright? Now this guy's my liege. Oh no. Um... I can do that now, but that's not the best idea. I could also invite him to carousing. Maybe I can request a council position. Uh, can I fabricate a plot? Oh, most definitely. Alright, so can anyone join my plot? Doesn't seem like a lot of people are willing. Maybe I can just invite this guy to carousing instead. Yeah. Hopefully my uncle also joins in. What if I... Invite all of you guys. And then get you guys to like me more. What? Uncle, how could you? Can't believe you've done this. Dear nephew, unfortunately I cannot join you for merrymaking at this time. But thank you for your kind in invitation. Thank you for your unkind rejection, ass face. Oh, half brother. Unbelievable. One of your scouts report of a pilgrim who just arrived in Dax. This pilgrim, known as Berard, has been on a pious quest to visit all the Catholic holy sites and is now ending his journey here. During his travels, he has accumulated a vast knowledge regarding regarding medicine and is seeking to put his skills to use. Okay, not bad, not bad. Could be better, but uh, sure, we'll go for him. Fantastic. And that reminds me, you should probably join the Benedictine Order. It's the Benedictine one that has the diligence, yeah? Yeah, that's the one. Fantastic. God's blessings upon thee, Count Lu. We are delighted by your decision to join our ranks as a lay member, Count. Together we shall strive for the betterment of, our, uh, of ourselves and our fellow Catholics by following the rule of St. Benedict. Go with God, Saint Signed, Conversus Milo, or Milo, or whatever. Fantastic! So my wife is the Princess of Lombardy. She doesn't have any, um, rights, or, I mean, she doesn't have any, uh, claims, does she? I guess not. Alright, well, you know what, that's fine. I kind of look like, um, a mixture of John Barenthal and, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so wait. Oh, he's also rejected. Damn these guys. At least this guy's accepted. Maybe we can be friends with at least one of them. Well, you know what? King Carl is coming to my party, so fuck you guys. Unbelievable. Mm, oh, good. So my uncle is willing to join the plot. Fantastic. We may need to just bribe this guy. Sure. Anyone else? Nope. We need at least, what, 75% or 100%. Okay. Now, if I fail this, do I... Is there, like, a timer that needs to reset, or what? I guess we'll find out. It's been a while since I've needed to do, to do any of this, so... Again, apologies if I need to... Oh, you want me to be your chancellor? Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> At least I get this ambition fulfilled then. Fantastic. Um... Now, the next one will be... Do we want to acquire a title? Well, we can't really get one from this guy, because he's only got the one holding. So maybe... We make a friend, or... We can build a war chest. Hmm... You know what? Go for it. Why not? Uh-oh. Uh, Mayor Faramund of... And shed, let everyone know about my plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Gascoigne during a drunken stupor at the local tavern. I never should have included that drunken uh, blabbermouth in a plot this delicate. Alright, so I'm actually going to cancel this so that um, he doesn't get notified of the uh, event. Fantastic! <laughs> it's a little uh, gamey, but you know what? Whatever. And we'll reinvite our 
folks here because for some reason they don't seem to be getting auto invited. All right, my guests have arrived for the private feast. I uh, private feast I've arranged. It's time to get the let the carousing and merriment begin. Fantastic. So we need. Oh, we need at least. Whoa! <laughs> These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my companions. I feel like good friends already. So we become besties with the uh, with the king. Nice. Maybe we can just. Um, you know, get a little uh, circle jerk thing going on, where we beat each other off. Ah, oh, the king himself is willing to join my plot. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> the reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. I received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine Order, Giovanni. Dear Brother Lou, will you, as the Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it, Reading through the attached document, there are multiple verses, all in honor of God. Aren't I an erudite? I am, but I'm not a, um, poet. Mmm, missing in the more comforting aspects of faith. While I enjoy the metaphors, they seem a little forced. Is there a difference between these two options? I could never know. Let's go with the comforting aspects of faith then, since I'm not entirely sure which one's the best option. If we can get at least... 2.3 more percent um, plot, we should be able to get this higher chance of um, success. But, you know what? Let's just go for it. With the aid of your fellow conspirators, you have managed to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Gascoigne. Perfect. So now I should be able to... There we go. Mm. Let me think here. Let me think. Do we do this now? Possibly. What's happening with the Umayyads, by the way? They are attacking Astorius for Castile. Wow, it's a good thing I <laughs> decided to not uh, start there. Oh, good god. Okay. Um, anything else that I need to worry about before we do anything else? No, I don't think so. I might need to recruit some mercenaries for this fight. Oh wait, no. I have alliances, right? Wait a minute. Wait, we were allies before, no? What about you, sir? Ah, fantastic. And I can't get an alliance with this guy, right? No, can't even get a non-aggression pact. Okay. So... Can we get an alliance with him? That's a no, because he's not a super fan of me. I could try to bri bribe him a little bit more, but... Nah, that's fine. Alright, so you are... Right. Where were you from? How do I see... Which... Right. Uh, the Prince of Bavaria and Lombardy and... So that's this guy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... Hmm... I see. Alright, well, I guess that's fine then. Great. Uh, so once we get the alliances or the confirmation, we'll go ahead and start this war, I think. God's blessings upon thee, Donatus Lu. Bringing the truth, faith, and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask uh, of you to construct a new church in your land so your subjects may have somewhere to uh, say prayers and worship. Excuse me? Do I look like I'm made of money, you dumb son of a bitch? Really? No. You think I shit fucking churches? Good grief. Don't you know that we use all of our churches to see if they float so that we can hunt down witches? Come on, you dumb bastard. Unbelievable. Alright, so we got the alliance from him. What about this guy? A couple more days. Fantastic. What about you, brother? No? Fine. Brother! Let's do this. Let's claim Gascoigne. Perfect. Alright, folks. Come to me. Save me. Save me for myself. Oh, right. I need to um, uh, set this to be the mustering point. But I guess we'll see how this guy reacts first before we decide to go somewhere or do something. Mm, so we're fighting the mountains. Yeah, that's the only planes that we're seeing right now. Also, if you're ever curious um, what kind of mods I'm running, 
I'll have the uh, list of mods. I always have the list of mods that I'm playing with the um, that episode in the descriptions. I was beginning to think that Giovanni took offense to my comments, but today I have received a new draft of his work. I'm surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, brother, bear with me, it is not finished. Um, I don't really want to pay for your thing, so let's just say that the Benedictine Order will treasure these words. Fantastic. Ah, that's great. Come to me, uncle. Help me. Help me, uncle. Oh, wait, what? Why is that uh, reset again? Oh, because we're technically a new uh, realm and a new regime. Uh, Sorry, friend. No. <laughs> I really need my son and uh, children to be um, Basque. I'm flattered that you think the Benedictine Order could benefit from my work, Giovanni Galbayo writes in his letter. Thank you for your support, brother, he continues. Before assuring me of the finishing touches, he intends to see uh, to before the... What? Sorry, did I just have a stroke? Thank you for your support, brother, he continues. Before assuring me of the finishing touches, he intends to see to before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. Okay, you know what? That makes sense. It's just... I didn't read it the uh, proper way, with the proper intonations. Geoffrey, may I... Why would I want to recruit this guy? He's an idiot. Can't even ransom him. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost a full stack wipe on the uh, first fight. Sure. How about we just completely annihilate you entirely? Yeah, uncle, you're helping me out, yes? There you are. Uh, nope. Not interested. Noble has distinguished his, himself in battle. Perhaps I can make use of him. Oh, wow. And he's already uh, covered in blood. Fantastic. That is, of course, the biggest requirement for being a commander of mine, is to be covered drenched in blood. My liege, the people of Constantinople, have progressed beyond our own technological level. I have managed to study the, their advancements, and the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Okay, so what would we be getting stuff in? Culture. Okay, not bad, because I actually do need uh, Majesty level 5 to get Imperial Administration and all that such. Wait, what the fuck? What happened to my previous spy master? What the shit? <laughs> Where did he go? Just die? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so I guess we can make this guy the spy master. Wait, was he captured by the, um, the Basilisk? He's been turned to stone by the Basilisk of Constantinople. It was one of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person, but at the same time, honesty is a virtue. Um... Hmm... Deceitful... or honest? I'm thinking... Huh. Sure, why not? Just to improve our intrigue a little bit more. Though the lower diplomacy definitely doesn't help. Let's start sieging down his capital. Yeah, that'll be good. Alright, we're still making a little bit of money, despite the fact that we have our troops raised. And I'll decide on this once we get the whole um, thing fixed up here, I think. Wait. What succession law is this? I'm assuming it's... Gavelkind, so we're going to inherit that, right? That's going to be interesting. Young Lu Sancho has finished his education in the ways of war. I notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Really? A brilliant strategist. Wow, wow, wee wow. Young Lu Sancho is impressing everyone with his sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. Uh, be just. You became temperate instead, and you're also an uncouth. All right. I would say that you're dead to me, but um, you do have brilliant strategies, so maybe you're not as dead to me. Oh no! Oh my! Um, something terrible has befallen the Astorius. <laughs> and something great is about to be befall me here. Fantastic! Wait, we imprison him too? Nice! 
But I can't revoke his shit, right? Okay, then we'll just throw him the oubliette unless we can execute him. Nope. Oubliette time it is then. Alright, so you're my little bitch. Gotcha. Can I revoke your... Nope, I cannot. Maybe I can plot to revoke something then. Mm, does not have a truce with me. I don't have a truce with him. Uh, is in a county held by the capital of me. Is the count secondary county. County held by a duke who's... Right, okay. I see. So we're just gonna have to wait for this guy to just mysteriously die or something then. Gotcha. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to your son? Oh no, he's bedridden from uh, pneumonia. Oh no, it's back to gavel kind. Fuck. Alright, so... All of my vassals are not big fans of me right now. Mmm... Well, if you didn't suck so bad, sir, I wouldn't mind putting you on the council, but you suck ass. This guy, however, would make a pretty good marshal. Sure, let's have you train troops. Wait, should we move our capital to Armagnac? Oh, we can't. Right, right. Okay, never mind then. So we'll just leave him here. And what else do we need to do? Mm, maybe I should make this guy be the spy master and then just send him to Constantinople to get his butthole torn asunder gently by the Greeks. Possibly. Alright, but for now, I'd say we're fairly good. Oh no. Um. Can I let go of you? Uh, can I tra- can I give you the, uh, vassal here? Oh, I totally can. Well, I think it's more important that I, um, acquiesce to my... My, uh, uncle, so we'll transfer him the vassal. Fantastic. Alright, uncle. Hopefully, um, that pleases you, sexually. But if not, it's not my fault, uncle. Dumb son of a bitch. Well, at least that's one less, um, one fewer vassal to worry about, right? Mm, now this guy... If I humiliate him... Uh, I don't know if there's a way for me to... Revoke his thing. I don't have a... Right, I have a truce with him right now. Oh, so I can actually take that, except I just have that truce with him. So maybe we wait for his... Son to, um... Slip up. Hmm. And I have that truce with him too for ten years. Fall of the of the Avars. The Avar Kaganet uh, Kaganet was established in Europe in 567 after the Avars had managed migrated to the Carpathian Basin from the east. They crushed the Gepids and allied with the Lombards to form a strong realm in the area. For long periods, they alternated between conflict and truce with the Eastern Roman Empire and had close dealings with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this once proud realm has fallen. The area is no longer ruled by an Avar dynasty and shall once again be known by the ancient name of Pannonia. Oh, I see. The Serbians have taken over... Whoa! So, what was it called before? Hmm. Interesting. I guess I don't really pay too much attention to this region of the world when I'm playing in my um, usual non-Catholic uh, stuff. So we can found a custom kingdom, which I don't think I'll do. Uh, what else can I do at the moment then? Can't hold a summer fair, right? Can't hold a regular feast because it needs to be November. I see. So what happens with these guys then? Carl and Carloman. I think they usually, one usually ends up absorbing the other, right? Okay, so I'm kind of eyeing to lose here. But I don't know if we're going to be able to um, absorb this guy. And I can't transfer my... Oh, right, my half-brother isn't as unruly anymore as he once used to be. Interesting. Okay, then I think we're just going to have to wait for maybe something to happen? Unless we can get a claim on stuff via the Pope. We need piety. Gotcha. Maybe I can get a claim on this. Uh, we just don't have the piety. You have spent some time immeasured in tomes describing the various cultures surrounding your realm. 
Though some of what you learned seems suspect, you still have obtained a better understanding in how to approach foreigners. Your diplomatic ability has improved as a result. Oh, so our base diplomacy goes up by one. Fantastic. And we have almost enough uh, prestige to um, convert to the local culture. Great. That should convert the culture of my... Um... Whoa! Okay. So what happened to um, Middle Francia then? Oh. He's dead. Just died a natural death at the age of 20. <laughs> Doesn't seem all that natural to me, but uh, sure. Why not? Why not? So now we should be able to tussle with this guy if we really want to. Should we invite Guillaume to carousing? Nope, I don't think there's any need to. Can I plot some stuff? Hmm. Wait, what happened to the uh, option? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Now we can get this plot moving. Uh, so we need at least one backer, yeah? Alright. Dear son-in-law, blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against High Chief Budimir of Croatia. Declining us would, of course, be terrible. Um... Croatia. These guys? Yeah, sure, I'll help you out. Oh, no. Wait. No, that's much bigger than Croatia. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, sure. Sure, daddy. <laughs> I'll help you out. <laughs> With my almost a thousand uh, troops. Alright, well, in any case, let's start by revoking this guy's shit. Uh, and let's send our troops right on top of his butthole before we do that. And we do have enough um, domain limit to be able to accommodate that uh, county, should we take it. Alright, let's do this. Fantastic. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many uh, corrupt souls you've enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. What is rightfully mine is mine. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Now you're going down, son. Oh, wait, I guess I recruited his uh, own troops. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so once we take that, and we wait for a few years, we should be able to get this change back to elective monarchy. Hmm. Visiting the monastery at which my order has convened at this time, I join my, join my fellow lay members in dutifully uh, performing all tasks required of us. In the evening, after the day's hard work, the abbot gathers all of the visiting lay members and reveals the monastery's great treasure. A great relic that has been safeguarded here for many generations. Mmm... So, I could try to... steal Jesus' foreskin? I would like that 50% chance at becoming ambitious. Hmm... But this could also backfire. YOLO. Hey, we became ambitious. Fantastic. Glad that worked out. But we still have to tr um, steal it, though. Having decided that the relic would be much better safeguarded in my own hands, I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I th can think of a few different paths to take. So grab it and run. Though bold and simple, simply waiting for nobody to be looking and then running as fast as possible is not likely to result in success. Or we could bribe the abbot. Bribing the abbot to ensure nobody is around would be almost guaranteed to succeed. He is, however, just as guaranteed to have a high price. We could borrow uh, money from the Jewish moneylenders to pay for Jesus' foreskin. And then take that. Uh, this could result in a fight, which I'd rather not have, so... Sure. Let's uh, borrow money from the Jewish moneylenders to... <laughs> To get Jesus' foreskin. <laughs> Fantastic. So, did it work? Did it work? Are we good? Oh, no, what's happening? West Francian Holy War for Navarra. Oh, really? To shreds, you say? Uh, my liege, my mission to Roma has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Pope Stephanus III, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and pious ruler you are, uh, you really are, and he sends his regards. 
Fantastic. Actually, let's double down on that and get our diplomat to um, suck up to the Pope too. My plan went flawlessly. Not a single soul saw or heard me during the night, and it was uh, not ear daybreak, daybreak that the theft was, dis was discovered. Nobody suspects that it was I, except, of course, the abbot, who knows everything. Who knows that I'm just coddling Jesus' foreskin all over my face. The foreskin of Jesus Christ, cut and placed in an alabaster box of spikenard oil on the eighth day after his birth, so that it may be preserved. Thus, it is the only body part of Christ remaining on earth after his ascension into heaven. <laughs> I love that it gives me extra fertility. What do we do? Do I use it as like a condom or something? <laughs> Just stick it all o over my dick. <laughs> Put Jesus's foreskin on my, on my uh, glands. <laughs> <laughs> it invigorates the sperm. Fantastic. I'm sure G Gwyneth Paltrow would be all over that shit too. Good grief. People, do not stick rocks in your vagina. All right. Just a little pro tip here. Not that I um have ever stuck a rock inside of my body or in my vagina, which I do not have, so... Uh, France, hello! I'm being attacked by the Umayyads. If my people get taken prisoner, I'm blaming this on you, asshole. Oh, no. Okay, thankfully no one was taken prisoner. Knock on wood. Listen! France, liege! You gotta help me out here! I'm being blasted in the ass because of your... your ambition, dude! Come on, man! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh, no. I better not lose this war because of this stupid situation. My court physician, Berard, has suggested that I buy him some exotic herbs and other rare ingredients so that he can mix advanced drafts and poultices. Herbs, you say? Yeah, I mean, if you really want to, you know, get your 420 on, sure, why not? Fantastic. Uh, we were close to having 420 prestige. Would have been perfect. There's a talented crier in Armagnac who seems to, who seems able to capture the attention of the peasant rabble in an instant with his commanding voice. You have studied his methods and the pitch of his voice closely, and you expect to do uh, better the next time you have to address a large crowd of people. The obvious trick to addressing a large crowd of people is to keep your legs far apart, like, like you're riding a horse, and then bellow from your uh, diaphragm. Whoa! <laughs> and then begin your speech. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch uh, Black Adder. One of the best fucking comedies ever. My court physician, Berard, has reluctantly let me know that the herbs I bought him were nothing uh, but common dry grass. I've been duped. And of course, it is completely missing, too. Just smoked up, and my um, court physician now does not seem to understand uh, what's going on. He's got the munchies and all that crap. Fantastic. So I revoked that place and wait, is Lombardy getting its ass torn asunder? Oh no. Are you okay? You are not okay. Oh good grief. Well, <laughs> why didn't you make more alliances, man? I can't help you with this. Oh jeez. You feel bad for him, but um oh well. Oh great, so we can finally convert to the local culture. Fate smiles upon me, my wife Gerberga is pregnant. Fantastic. Alright, well, let's convert to the local culture, and hopefully all of these guys should convert as well. Though I don't know if it's going to affect my grandsons. And wait, are they all in my court now? So Jimeno is in looping. Lou's in looping, and... Right, Sancho is in looping too. I'm assuming it's not going to change your, um, culture, is it? Alright, let's do this. I catch myself thinking in the Basque language all the time. I govern the Basque people of Dax, but am I truly one of them? Yeah, we are. Fantastic. So, we should be able to change to Agnatic Cognatic. Or Absolute Cognatic. Except, we have vassals with negative opinions. Wait. You're not talking about the... Minor vassals, are you? Oh, no. Don't tell me you have to convince these assholes, too. Fired from the council. Suck my ass. You deserve to be fired. Wait, why did I fire him? 
I don't remember. All right, well, that's fine. So we could potentially lose burn, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Hey, their coat of arms is a cow, or two cows, rather. That's pretty cool. So should we move our capital to Armagnac? Um, I mean, we can't right now because we're at war, but I guess there's no real point to because I know that's the capital of uh, Gascoigne. Mm, but I don't know. Wait, what music is this? Is this Catholic music? Wow, I guess I never noticed. That's how little I play as a... Uh, that's how not often I play as a Catholic. Good grief. And we're actually making a decent amount of money. I mean, decent for the, um, for the time, I guess. And... Wait. You're not being dogpiled on by Asturias, are you? No, he's defending against... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you go win that, buddy. You go win that. Can I help you fight this? Do I want to help you fight this? How about I join your war? Just to ingratiate myself with you a bit more. Fantastic. We have Nuno Lopez. Nope, you are not Nuno Lopez. You are our firstborn, or first child born in the um, campaign. So you are Pluten. Pluten Lopez. Lopez? I thought we were looping, no? Did my name change? Duke Lope the Usurper. Is it because I turned Basque? Huh. Could very well be. Okay. As is tradition, my wife Geberga underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. Unfortunately, her mood was not improved by taking the Holy Communion. Perhaps some old sin is still weighing on her soul. She must deal with this problem on her own. Wait, can we not help her? Whoa! Hey, King. If you could uh, give me Navara and Najera, that would be amazing. What do you say, buddy? I mean, we are friends, so why not, right? Banish this guy. Mm, there's no point to it, and we would only lose uh, piety, so... Oh, wait, so you're Basque. You're Basque. You're Basque. And you're Basque. You're... Occitan. Oh, so our grandchildren are not affected by this. That's, um, going to be troublesome. Then, wait. Why can't I set his education? Oh, right, because he says he's the um, educator. Okay, then how about no? How about you be educated by me? Excuse me? I beg your pardon? He's got nothing to do with you, jerk. I could bribe him. Or maybe we should invite him to carousing. Sure, let's give him an honorary title too. Master of the Hunt. Yeah, that'll be good. Now can I assign myself as my... as his... Nope, still not. What a jerk. Alright, uh... Uncle, can we please do some carousing? So he's accepted, fantastic. And some more uh, technology points, or what? Economy, I think. During the last few days, my daughter Adela has not been able to keep any uh, drink or food down. It seems as if she's suffering from food poisoning. Eh, she'll be fine, I'm sure. Uncle, what is the matter with you? Why do you hate me so much? Fine, I'll just make some friends elsewhere then. Yeah. Better get these guys on our side. So that we can plot to do some more stuff. Kind of wondering if maybe I should start plotting to um, fabricate a, a claim on um, some of this stuff here. So that's his maximum potential. What about my maximum potential? Close, but no cigar, unfortunately. Oh, Provence decided to not join in. Unfortunate. What about Auvergne? Join me up, buddy. Let's do this. Unbelievable. Oh, that land's been given away to someone else, and this guy's plotting to revoke. Okay, well, as long as it's not me, we should be fine. 
Now I do have one more. I, I can potentially take on one more domain holding. My guests have um, arrived for the private feast I've arranged. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. I've already read that before, haven't I? Yes, I have. Good drinks and food, carousing, everything is fine. Or was fine until Count Jeffrey unexpectedly threw a fit of rage. Oh, it's because he's wroth. I'm not sure why, but he's coming at me right now with his fists, fists up. Um, I don't really want to become Craven, so I guess we'll fight him. And nothing happened. Fantastic. I was kind of worried that uh, we might end up incapacitated or something. Beaten up. Come on, man. Oh, you want me to be your advisor? Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Now we have some presence on the uh, council here. Which means that we could potentially get another achievement to um, to get a to get everyone on the council ingratiated on, to me. And my mother-in-law is dead, Aroni. Wait, you've been excommunicated? What the fuck? I guess it does happen pretty often. Uh, maybe you'd like to marry someone uh, of my dynasty. Obviously, matrilinearly. <laughs> No? Okay, fine. Uh, never mind then. Never mind. So she's trying to kill me. What? Why? What do you have to gain from that? Uh, can you ask your wife to stop this? This is insane. Please stop. Unbelievable. Sir, your wife is trying to kill me. Are you doing anything about this? There are a few monasteries close by where the lay members of the Benedictine order frequently convene. As such, it is expected that I every so often attend these meetings and that I spend a fair amount of time at these monasteries to get in touch with the monastic foundations of the order. Such a period is about to start. Fantastic. And now this guy's trying to kill me too. Unbelievable. What is with these jerks? Oh no, he's fled. Uh, what an absolute dickhole. Man, you suck. Okay, that kind of highlights the uh, importance of me not having people in my court that do not like me. Mm, I guess we can go with... Sure. You want me to pick the theology focus? I could, but I'm gonna say no, so thanks. Alright. We could potentially try to... ...weasel our, our way up here, but I don't think that's gonna really happen anytime soon. I've been at the monastery for a few days now, surrounded surrounded by others who share my passion for God, Yet and yet, I still find I miss having a friend. Donatus Murgle and myself seem to be getting along quite well, though. Perhaps this could blossom into a true friendship if we did something together. I'm sure he would greatly enjoy... Well, he's got the military education, so let's go for... That. And... I guess we'll try to go ingratiate ourselves with the uh, Pope a bit more. Murgle truly enjoyed my suggestion, and we become close friends. We regularly seek each other out during our free time, and I am starting to notice that it affects my focus on my monastic duties. Hmm... Well, you know what? No, it's fine, because the other one could potentially lead to us becoming homosexual, which would reduce our fertility. Sorry, I need to drink something. My bad. There we go. A little bit better. Fantastic. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, because we have more people who can inherit. Hmm. Maybe I can bribe him a little bit. Bring him back into my court. There we go. A new bird has arrived in the muse, and a new bir uh, book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Uh, let's go for the poetry. Sure. Son, come back to me. Can I imprison you now? Or should we just ask him to end the plot? Um, I don't know. Not gonna lie though, I wouldn't mind this guy dying. Come on! Are you kidding me right now? 
Fuck off. Ah oh, man, what an asshole. This book about, uh, the book? Oh my god, I'm so upset that I can't even read this. This book about writing poetry is really boring. It is filled with do's and do nots, and I just want to throw it out the window. Fuck. Alright, I guess we'll just become a falconer then. Damn it. Not quite working out the way that I was hoping. I feel like if he just buggers off to a different court, we should be able to just disinherit him entirely. I could not help but overhear the stable master in a courtier's animated discussion. Something about a horse and a payment due today, but the courier, uh, courtier insisted on paying the stable master later that week. I guess I have to interfere. I settled the matter between the bishop, uh, between Bishop Milo and my stable master. I tried to be as just as I could. Great. While passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion that the man is indeed guilty. Condemning him might not be the wisest choice, as he is of noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might be. He might prove himself useful to you, as he would be in your debt. Uh, no, you know what? I'd just rather go for the prestige instead. Okay, so you've just created the Duchy of Chamava, Chamavia or something. I need help t with a delicate private matter I don't want the Chancellor to take care of. There are those who think me undiplomatic and fear, and I fear they may be right. Or they are right, and now I re really need to be diplomatic to the- or the woman blackmail blackmailing me might spread her lies with me being unable to do anything about it. I guess we can ask the uh, King of France to help me out with this? Sure, why not? Is he actually going to um, agree to it though? I mean, he is my friend, so maybe. Oh, I guess not. Without the help of King, King Carl, I was unable to stop the extortionists spreading uh, evil rumors about me. Now everyone really thinks I did that awful thing with that lunatic woman. Why, Jesus, why? Okay. So, I become disappointed in King Carl. Thankfully, I did not become depressed at the very least. Alright, so can I plot anything else in the meantime? Nope. Gotcha. Hmm. Then what, do we just wait for time to pass? Maybe I can get you betrothed to... someone. Sancho or Pluten? Hmm. That could work. That could work. Or maybe Jimeno, my grandson. So, who's in line to inherit? Alderic and then Jimeno. Sancho and Pluten. With Adele at the very end. Huh. I would like for her to still be my heir, though. I don't know. Mm. Damn it. How do I disown this guy? I guess I'll have to bring him back into my court then. I did not imprison you, you sack of shit. What an asshole. Fuck this guy. I can't, like, I can't, uh, like, plot to assassinate him either, because he's my son, which is kind of stupid, I gotta say, but I guess it kind of makes... Um, the game of inheritance too easy if it, uh, if you're able to do that. So how long have I been ruling Gascoigne? Uh, four years. So six more years and then I should be able to change that law. As long as these fuckers aren't in charge of their bullshit. Man, they're pissy little bitches, aren't they? Well, once they die, it's not like their children are going to inherit or anything like that, so we should be okay. Uh-oh. I have a bit of a situation developing here. But you know what? We're going to actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I guess we'll try to expand out east? Yeah, or maybe even south. Perhaps I can ask this guy to give me a title or something. How close are we to getting this fulfilled? Uh, 500 crown or a duchy or ducats. Good grief. Um, hmm, it's probably gonna take a little while then, but then maybe we should just cancel it and then ask my liege for a title instead. We could do, we could do, but we'll see. Well, as this is the first episode of the series, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would, um, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the, uh, first episode and if you're excited for the rest of the, um, uh, series and campaign. And uh, let me know what you guys think so far, if you're excited, etc, etc, and uh, what you think we should uh, set out to accomplish. 
I've already listed the um, achievements that I'm kind of um, going for. If there's others that you recommend, then uh, be sure to uh, let me know. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe so that you can uh, keep apprised of this uh, situation and <laughs> see how it develops and all that such. And um, I only say this in the very first and the last episode of the cam of the of each series. Um, but if you would like to support the channel financially, you can do so via um, becoming a Patreon uh, supporter or by joining the channel as a member via YouTube. And you can get special perks like access to the Discord channel as well as voting rights um, for the second tier and uh, naming rights for the third tier. But I mean, if not, that's fine too. Just uh, you spending your time with me is um, awesome. So yeah, let's leave it at that. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.